guys welcome back to my channel my name is Jackie and I am a new mom of a beautiful little girl named Riley she is six months old today so this is going to be her six month update <clears throat> we are now at six months and I cannot believe we have made it half of a year together I have been a mother for half a year it's just so crazy to me you will be seeing Riley at some point, I'm sure. She is down on the floor right now playing with some um, stacking rings. I think that's what you call them. But um, I don't know even what she's looking at right now. She's just doing whatever. She is just so inquisitive lately. But anyway, let's jump into her six-month update. <laughs> All right, so Riley is 18 pounds. We actually took her to the doctor last week because she was sick. And they weighed her with her clothes on and she was 18.7. So I'm going to estimate around 18 pounds. Hold on. She threw up. Okay. So yeah, so I'm going to guess around 18 pounds. Um, I think when she was four months old, she was around 25 and a quarter inches long. So she's probably close to 27 now, I would think. I don't know. We have an appointment tomorrow, so... Um, I just couldn't wait to film this video, so we're doing it today on her actual six-month birthday. Um, she is in 9 to 12-month clothing. There are a lot of brands that are 9 months that are way too small for her. Um, and there's also a lot of brands that, like, 18 months will fit her. So, um, yeah, so she's kind of really anywhere between 9 months and 18 months, depending on the brand. Um, we kind of have a variety of, of clothing based on those sizes. Um, let's see. Um, as far as sleeping goes, at this point we're right around two to three times a night. I would, I would say definitely more like two times a night, I would say on average. Um, there is the occasional wake up, um, earlier into the night, but I really don't think she needs to be nursed. I think it's more of a comfort thing. Hold on. She threw up again. Okay. So, <clears throat> yeah, I think it's more of a comfort thing, um, but on average, it's about two times a night. We put her to sleep around 6.30, and she usually doesn't wake up until like 12.30 and 3.30-ish, so um, it's not too bad. I, I definitely can't complain, and she's so easy to go right back to sleep. Um, she is still sleeping in her crib, which is phenomenal. I have occasionally tried to bring her into the bed with me in the morning if I feel like she woke up too early and mama still wants to get some sleep, but she's starting to not do that. I think because my bedroom doesn't have blackout curtains, so it's too bright and she's like, hell no, it's daytime. We're getting ready for the day, mom. <laughs> but, um... As far as naps go, she naps about three times a day. Her wake time is usually around two hours, um, but she does really well for the most part. Um, she'll sleep at her crib and she usually sleeps anywhere from a half hour to an hour. It really just depends. Um, I never know how long it will be. It doesn't matter what type of, um, what time of day it is or anything like that. Um, it's just, I usually can guarantee a half hour and if I get lucky with an hour then that would be that's awesome she's just gonna play with the heater over here all right so <clears throat> we talked about sleeping let's talk about eating so when she was just about five months old we started solids we did start her on purees I have here and there tried um giving her like food off of our plate um she just doesn't really get it um not yet anyway she can grasp it she can bring it to her mouth but she once she gets it to her mouth she drops it um we're just kind of gonna keep trying that out um but for now purees i don't i don't see that there's anything wrong with it i would have loved to do baby led weeding from the start but she just wasn't into it so but as far as purees, she pretty much will eat anything. She loves food. Um, she honestly gets so upset if you're not feeding her fast enough. Um, we also did start her on puffs. Um, she's only had the blueberry puffs now, but I know that they're nine plus months, but if you can feed your baby whole food, 
then you can give them puffs in, in my opinion I don't know sorry if I'm totally wrong on that that's just how I've I view it and she has done absolutely amazing with it she actually <laughs> chews it which is so surprising to me um, but she loves those puffs uh, what so she does do the purees. What? Do you want a binky? She's sleepy today. She did just wake up from a nap, so I don't really know why she's sleepy. But um, so yeah, she does. She is eating the purees two to three times a day. I'm definitely trying to increase it, but honestly, it's such an inconvenience having to feed her. Something. Like when you nursed for six months of her life. Throwing in an extra thing into your routine, it's like, it's an inconvenience. It's hard. Um, <laughs> Do you want a book? Look it. Look it. <clears throat> um, yeah, so like I said, in her sleeping thing, she's waking up two to three times a night to nurse. Um, as of this past week... Uh, she hit a nursing strike, which I never even knew was a thing until I googled why isn't my baby nursing. She would literally, um, as soon as I put her into the nursing position, she would scream like bloody murder. Like it was awful, like a pain scream. Um, but she would take a bottle, no problem. So that's been a different, a difficult thing this past mm. week. What? Hey mama, who are you talking to? Um, yeah, so she's getting a lot better during the daytime, but at night it's on like night three of only taking a bottle. She won't nurse. So I'm hoping that we're going to be getting out of that soon. What are you doing? You want a binky? Um, we follow the eat, play, sleep rule, which I think I started around five months. Um, it's been really, really life changing. So I used to feed her on demand, um, but I really wanted to stop nursing before she would sleep so that we wouldn't create a habit of needing to nurse to sleep. Um, and it's been phenomenal. She really took to it. It didn't affect her in any way. Um, and I really don't think it affected my milk supply either, but it's just been, it's been great. Can't say enough about the eat, play, sleep method. She loves playing with toys now and not just to put in her mouth. Like she's actually starting to be entertained by toys. So that's a pretty cool thing um, for me anyway, because I can almost interact with her a little bit more. Um, what are you doing? Do you want to write a book? Let's see, let's see, let's see. No. Are you pooping? Um. <clears throat> She really started to enjoy books now. I think she likes to look at the, all the colors and what's on the pages. And she likes listening to us read them. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's a new thing. I am so not a reader. So I really wanted to try to implement reading into her life. Um, it's one thing that I just, I never, ever was into. I mean, I don't, even, maybe when I was a kid, I liked reading. But um, it's not, I mean, even in elementary school, I just did not did not like it so it's definitely something that I'm excited to try to get her into <laughs> um, she is obsessed with hair and faces like if it's if I'm holding her she will um, grab my face and grab my hair my hair is usually always in a bun um, but she loves faces she will grab my nose and thank god I don't have my nose ring in anymore um, my eyes, my lips, she'll pull my lip out. Like it's, sometimes it's extremely painful too, but she thinks it's awesome. I don't know. You just are so interested. Let's see. She still loves my dog. Hercules is her best friend. I don't think he realizes how much that Riley actually loves her, <laughs> loves him. But, um, but honey, look it, look it. Oh, you want the... Okay, you want the white thing. Okay. Um, but yeah, sh every, time he see sh every time she sees him, she gets the biggest smile on her face. Um, she just can't get enough of him. Um, she loves to reach out and try to pet him. And he just, he's so good with her. So it's really cool uh, to see that relationship starting. 
because we love him just as much. Um, Word Party is a Netflix original. My niece used to be obsessed with it, and now Riley is too. I have watched every single episode probably, I don't know, close to ten times now. There's only three seasons, and um, I have tried introducing other shows to her to get her attention, but nothing does it like Word Party. Um, I don't know what it is, but gosh, those characters are so annoying. But she loves it, and it's uh, a very good learning show, so I can't, I mean, I'm happy for her to be learning as she's watching TV, of course. And the other thing that she's absolutely obsessed with is she's always loved music videos. The Girls Like You by Maroon 5 and Cardi B. All-time favorite, the second that song comes on, Oh my gosh, she lights up. She can't take her eyes off of the screen. I don't know if it's the song. I don't know if it's the music video. It could be both, but she loves it. Um, I will say we've been playing that music video since she was a newborn. So I don't know if she just, I don't know, just knows it. I don't know, but she just, she absolutely loves it. It works like a charm every single time she's fussy. It's genius. Mm. just love it she also loves when daddy comes home it mm. is so sweet it literally melts mm. my heart it literally melts my heart it melts daddy's heart she just lights up it's mm. precious mm. she's so fussy I don't know why do you want this oh. um and last we got her ears pierced. Um, so uh, yeah, I honestly don't remember if I shared that in my five month video for her because she was five months old when we did that. Um, but yeah, she got her ears pierced, never had any problems with it, never once had to clean them. They say only to clean them when if you see like crusties or anything like that and nothing, never had to do anything with them. They are just absolutely perfect. And she's just so pretty. Do you see how pretty? Look at Riley. Look at in the camera. Hi. Say hi. Um, so let's go to developmental and some other milestones that she hit this past month. Hercules is now here to join us. Um, she sits up on her own. Yeah, she started sitting up on her own, assisted little after she turned five months old she would do like the tripod sit where she'd like barely even have like any upright position um she was mostly slouched over the whole time but that quickly became more upright and she sits on her own pretty much the entire time she's playing all day long she wants to be up the, really the only time she's on her back is if like I'm changing her. I don't know. She just, she's mm. totally loves sitting up. She loves to be looking around and, um, yeah, it's just, she, she loves it and she does it so well. Mm. She still hates mm. tummy time. She mm. hates it. Um, so we just, honestly, we don't really enforce it that much. Um, she, it, it's, I mean, I know that they encourage it, but she starts freaking out and I'd rather her be happy and sitting up and playing than on her belly screaming. Um, she's extremely strong. I mean, there's no doubt that this girl has strong muscles. She, um, I don't know, guys, it, it is what it is. She's just not a tummy person. Um, she stopped rolling entirely. Like, I think... I mean, I know I've mentioned it <clears throat> before, I think in her four month video probably, um, pretty much every single time you would put her down, she would roll um, back to belly. And you couldn't, she wouldn't not roll. Like it was her thing. And literally like, um, I don't know, maybe four and a half, maybe five months old, she stopped entirely. So it's been like a month of her not rolling. Now, in the meantime, she found her toes. I'm so sorry, she's whining. I don't know why she's so whiny today. Um, 
she found her toes so that kind of took um more of a interest for her um she still is obsessed with her toes <laughs> um but yeah just stopped rolling and i don't know i'm a little concerned about it but i'm sure it's just she got bored of it maybe um baby All right, so, um, yeah, she found the toes, and that just took precedence over rolling. I don't know. I get frustrated sometimes because I think if she only knew that she could reach that toy by rolling, uh, it would just be so much happier around here. <laughs> but that's okay. She'll do it in her own time. Um, we know she knows how to do it. I, I just, I don't know. Can they forget how to do things? I don't know. Um, so one thing that she started doing, she freaks out when we leave the room. She knows when mama and daddy leave her. Um, sometimes, honestly, she gets like, if you're too far away from her, she'll get upset. Like she wants you to be right there playing with her or just watching her, like the attention seeker that she is. You smell like poop. Mama's gonna change you. Um, yeah, she got a tooth yesterday. Yesterday it popped through. So I'm really hoping that that is the reason for the nursing strike that's been going on. Um, it's literally like a shard of glass poking through on the bottom. Um, it's sharp. It's very sharp. So I can only imagine how much that hurts her. Um, but yeah, we got our first tooth. It's so exciting. Um, I think that's pretty much it, guys. I think she, um, is just doing so well. She's healthy, healthy little girl. Um, <clears throat> I mean, she's 18 pounds and she's just, yeah, she's sitting up on her own and she's just having so much fun being a baby and mama is having so much fun being a mama and it's just been it's been awesome. I I love it. Uh, a little bit of me postpartum. I had at five months. I got my period. Um, very normal, average period. Where are you going? Um, I haven't gotten it since. So um, I'm not pregnant. I am trying to conceive. Um, but nope, I'm not pregnant yet. And hopefully that will happen soon. We are trying to conceive baby number two. If you are following my journey. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel and are interested in that, please do so. Because there is going to be updates every so often about whether I'm pregnant or not. And um, also just kind of joining in on this motherhood journey with me would be awesome. I love the support from you guys. You all are so awesome and encouraging um but yeah so that's pretty much it for my for my postpartum I mean my baby hairs are starting to come in so the hair loss is pretty much on the I think it's over hopefully but I am starting to get some baby hairs back um but yeah still waiting on that second period I don't know what's going on but I am breastfeeding so that can um affect the cycles, I guess. Um, but yeah, she is six months old. It is crazy. We, I don't know. We just love her to pieces. I don't know where the six months went. Um, she's going to be a year old before we know it. <sighs> My baby girl. You say bye. You say thank you for watching me. Thank you for watching me grow. Thank you for watching me grow. <sighs> See, I love you guys. I love you guys. I'm so sleepy though. I'm so sleepy. Oh. Oh. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow along on this motherhood journey with me and Riley. And I hope to see you guys soon.